In this section, we're going to be reviewing a couple of techniques to project or place a curve onto the face of a surface, conforming itself to the shape of the surface. The easiest way to do that is to first create a sphere, and then create some curves. Right now, I'll create one big curve like that. Okay, now we're going to lift this curve up off the face of our surface. Now, the tools that I'd like to show you are in the Curve from Object section in the Curve pull-down menu. Pull back and project. Pull back is going to pull the surface toward the curve. As you can see, the size of this curve here seems to mimic the size of my original curve as though it were projected almost like a, through a movie projector onto the shape of the sphere. Now the second type of this curve, curve from object, project. Select curves and points to project. We're going to project this, press enter, select the surface, press enter. Now you can see these are completely different. To show you a little bit better, what I'm going to do is put a skin on these, so to speak. I'd like to make these pipes a little smaller so they don't conflict with each other. I'm just going to right click with my second curve and right click again to duplicate the size of my pipe. And now let's take a look. I'm going to show you in a maximized fashion. Here's our sphere. Now this curve here, the large one, is what it looks like when I projected my curve onto my surface. It projected perpendicular based on the current construction plane. In other words, I used the top viewport, and so this is what it looks like from the top. It then stretches around the sphere here and wraps around it on the other side. The pull command actually uses the surface as a pulling tool to pull my curve into itself. And here you can see the result of that. I'll press escape. Let's go back to our four viewports. The pullback command, if I can delete these two curves, actually changes depending on how close our object is to the curve. So if I move that closer, curve, pull back, select curves and points to pull, select surface that pulls, enter. So you can see in this case it's a little bit larger. Let's undo that. Let's move our curve very much further away. and repeat and see the difference. There you can see, just like a projector, the object here on the surface is much smaller as the curve is further away. Now let's see what happens. Project. Curve. Enter. Surface. Enter. Not much has changed. As you can see, the projection is decided a little bit differently. What would change the results of that is if I were to move my curve down and rotate it at an angle. Now let's take a look. Project, curve, enter, surface, enter. Now let's take a look, because you can see it's at a slight angle. So basically what's happening, if we look at our top viewport, it follows our shape exactly. And then here at the edges, what it's going to do is just wrap itself straight around the sphere and repeat on the other side. And so that's what we have here. The mirror shape of the projected curve.